Disclaimer, my microphone was not entirely plugged in during this video. Therefore, the sound sucks. Brace yourself. So I hope this has continued into the future, but I am just getting so much done. It is awesome. Now, unfortunately, this has come at the cost of some time with my significant other, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to find a way to work around that by making her some kind of workstation in the basement. Yeah, that's, that's cool, right? Girlfriends and trains. So this week, I decided to go off and do something completely different from model railroading. I am putting in a power circuit and a lighting circuit. Using up the one remaining space in the panel board, I am running 12 receptacles around the room, one in the hallway, one for the freezer, and six brand new lights. This circuit will also eventually house layout lighting, but for now, work lights are just fine by me. As of Sunday night, I had installed nearly all of the receptacles. I had to take off some drywall, so that kind of took up a bit of time. And then I... Uh, I pulled a mat. For those of you who are not familiar with what a mat is, it is when you screw something up, go to fix it, and find out the symptoms were completely unrelated to the thing you thought you screwed up in the first place. In this particular case, what I thought I screwed up was a wire that I had stapled through. Seems simple enough. You put a staple through a wire, you kill it. You're gonna cause a short circuit or break the wire or something. Wrong. Instead of taking off all the drywall and insulation again, I decided to use my multimeter to test for resistance to see if the insulation was intact and the circuit was still good. What I tested was not a short circuit. What I found was an extremely high resistance. Not what I expected to find, which would be approximately infinity, but I found a resistance of about 50 million ohms. For those of you who are not familiar with electricity, that's a lot. That's really, really, really big. It shouldn't be an issue, but you know, I don't want to cause any house fires. So I clipped the wire just the other side of that staple, and lo and behold, the problem was not solved. Still reading it on the other side of the staple. Worst case scenario. I go through and tear everything up, unclip all the connections, and have to redo almost everything trying to find out what the problem is. So I started out doing that. I took off a couple of my plugs and started checking for short circuits. Finding none, I was about ready to start cutting stuff when I saw a power bar plugged in. I had done this just to see how long the cord was. Upon closer inspection, the resistance from the hot to the ground of a power bar is approximately 50 million ohms. So here I am with only one cut wire, but completely unnecessary that I have to redo. The good news is I don't have to pull everything off, I can just pull it through with the other one. Other than that, my week was pretty fun. You know, the usual hung out with friends, went skiing on June the 16th. Oh, no wait, I tried to go skiing on June the 16th. Same as last year. Last year there was snow. This year there wasn't. I hereby declare skiing season to be over. Future Matt, question for you. Skiing? However, continuing down the other side of the pass where we went, we found a nice hike to do. I will leave this week with some soothing videos of rabbits and waterfalls. I bid you adieu.